Please pardon this interruption for an important news report. This just in. The Story Wranglers have taken over the TV. The Story Wranglers have taken over the TV. Our sources report that kids across the nation are staging a revolution to forever change the way we write stories. With their magic toolboxes in tow, 37 kids are brainstorming, first drafting, revising, and publishing over 15 stories in the course of two weeks. They are coordinating this operation over Zoom. Let's learn more from our correspondents on the scene. Miss Sarah. This is Miss Sarah reporting live from the dance room. Sightings have been reported of campers dancing in living rooms and bedrooms to the Story Wrangler theme song. Let's get an update from Mr. Eddie and Miss Melody. I'm Mr. Eddie. And I'm Miss Melody. And we're on site in the music room. We can confirm that the campers in question have written songs like you've never heard before. Mr. Mitch, any new developments in the tech room? Watch out for your socks because these campers have made good use of them as they create kooky, crazy, and curious puppets. Digital animation and live action film has also been spotted. And we've just received a news update from the acting room. Mr. Frank? Mr. Frank here, and I can't believe my eyes. These campers are acting out the stories they've written. I have never seen anything like this in the entirety of my career. It is truly an honor to witness. Back to you in the newsroom. You heard it here first. The Story Wranglers are making history. We will not be returning to our regularly scheduled programming because these kids have something to say. We leave you with these parting words. Adventure is out there. Story was written by the Purple Banana Snow Chips, and it's called Handsome Chansa. Hi, my name is Handsome Chansa, and I live on a lost island in New York. I am bored of being on this island. I want to go as far away as I can from here. It's really cool because it's always snowing. Are there any jackets here? It was a long time ago. Mom, Dad, don't leave me here. It's for your own good, honey. We'll send you a postcard. Hi, honey. On the way back home, there was a big storm and we got stuck here in Candyland. We'll try and talk to you soon. Love, Mom and Dad. I'll send them a postcard. I really miss you guys and hope you come back. I guess I'll go exploring since I'm stranded here. Oh, hi, girls. Wow, I think I'm in love. I have a crush on him. He's so dreamy. Oh no, I'm too handsome for my own good. I have to get out of here and find my parents. Can I have your autograph? Did he touch that? I want it. I hope he likes me back. <sighs> Two jet skis and a boat? Just my ticket out of here. Hey there, Buster. You want to buy one of our jet skis? Yes, please. How much is it? Just take it for free. You're so handsome. Make sure to take that jet ski because the other one's broken and the boat is missing a mode. Wow, thanks. Oh, warning, there's an invisible force field around it and only you can get past it. 
Just slow down so I can eat you. I want to eat you because you're popular and I want to be popular too. Run away, be scared of us. Look at those fast sharks. I wonder what they're doing. A splash. Maybe it's a big fish. I think I got a big one. Oh no, it's actually human. Let me down! Okay, relax. Oh no, the jet ski broke and now I'm trapped on this island forever. If there were only something that could keep the girls away. I know, I could build a fortress. Let us in. Why are you hiding from us? Come down here so I can give you a hug. I am not coming down. <laughs> the end. This story is written by the Paparazzi Penguin Scribes and it is called Paul Blorb and the Slime Blobs Adventure. Paul Blorb, I have seen the future. Our planet will blow up. Take 100 blobs with you. Blob Atlantis on Earth is your new home. Father, no, I must not leave you. We must go together. I will take the blobs and the Alpha Guards. Meet me there. Wouldn't be my first idea, but I follow the prince. Do they have salad there? I'll do it for sure. Hello, Swedes. Finally, after one entire year, we finally reached this planet and safety. Yay! I must find the powerful gadget that can take us back in time so that we can save our planet. You mean the slime? But that's evil. But our world is already blown up, so I won't do anything. We can't breathe on this land. We have to remember what we, my father said. You must find the device that can take you back in time. I read a history book about it before I became king. Now you must find it to save our people. We must not go on land without a vehicle because we will melt. We can build a car to protect us on land. So it could spell disaster for the world. It runs on good vibes. So we need to stay positive in order for it to run. That sounds like a great plan. We all need to bring things that make us happy. I'll bring my favorite laundry. A for soft and comfy and helps me solve my problems. I'll bring the shallot. I will bring rainbow fish in case we are hungry. Let's go to Egypt first. From my reading, there's no gadget here. But you can read all the gadget books in history from the 1300s to now. If it's not in Egypt, maybe we can go to Hawaii next. I don't think there's a gadget here, but you can come and join our dance. I'm almost running out of ideas, but maybe we can go to South Padre Island. There's no advice here, but come take a break and swim with us in the ocean. I'm almost out of shallot. Maybe we should go back to Blob Atlantis. Yes, we must go back to the base because we're running out of food. We must not give up. The search will continue. But for now, we must get better prepared. The we'll be right back after these messages. If so, these funny faces will make you feel better in no time at all. If you like these funny faces, go to funnyfaces.com. Do you miss being stuck at home? Do you want to have a party? Yes! Try my party in a box! Ooh! It's filled with all sorts of fun stuff! It's filled with cool necklaces, all sorts of amazing stuff! Party in a box! Do you want something that doesn't even love you? Well, then I suggest gang a cat! It won't love you and it doesn't 
and it likes to scratch you a lot. It also comes with this cool box. No love included. Do you miss the sound of crashing waves at the ocean? Well, here is the ocean in a shell. Put it up to your ear, and you can listen to the ocean. It's very, 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 very like the ocean. And, yeah, call 512-977-888 for your ocean in a shell. This story was written by the incredible Magic Moon Squad, and it's called The Shark Who Owned the Candied House. Hello, my name is Mishra. That's literally my name. And I live in a house made of, in a lake house made of candy. Hi, we are M&M's. We are, we are so delicious. We are M&M's and we are so delicious. I really want that cotton candy and gum to make make my house even better, but I can't get across the lake because I don't know how to swim. Flashback. I love paddleboarding with you. I love paddleboarding with you too. Just warning you, there's a part of the lake that's haunted with spells. I don't believe you. Oh no! Somebody help him! It's lifting me up in the air! It's dropping me down to the bottom of the lake! Help! My beds feel like they're stuck! If I stop moving, I won't be able to breathe or swim! Flash forward. I've heard of this great ginormous shark. When I heard he was scary, I decided not to be kind. But when I heard he was friendly as well, I decided to send him something that he desired. Yes, I will send him a sparkle of magic. Hmm, this package looks weird. But anyways, I'll deliver it to, hmm, let me see. Oh, that candy house over there by the lake. Thank you, postal worker. I'm sure that is exactly where I wanted to send this package. You guessed correctly. You're welcome. <sighs> oh package for me. Oh, what is this? Ooh, a sparkly ball of magic. Ooh, a sparkly ball of magic. What? Who said that? Is my house talking? I feel really weird. I think I need to go lie in bed. That's what happens. That's what happens. Ah! I'm falling! Someone get me down! Ooh, actually, I'm kind of getting the hang of this. <gasps> I can fly across the lake! <laughs> Welcome to my lake house. I got this candy and gum from the other side of the lake. Please help yourselves to some candy. Thank you for inviting us. This bird is going to be super fun. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, this is delicious cotton candy. Thank you for inviting me. Oh no, they're eating us. Oh no, they're eating us. <sighs> the the end. end. This story was written by the Paparazzi Penguin Scribes, and it's called Electricipig's Quest for Happiness. You're so weird, Lola Pizza. You have green skin, but all of us have pretty pink skin. Yeah, and who is named after pizza? You're so green, with envy towards us. Ha 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 ha. I'm Lola Pizza, and I'm the only green Electricipig 
on Rainbow Planet. All the other pigs bully me for being different. I am lonely and anxious, and I need a hedgehog to make me happy. I need to go to Harry Planet because that's the only planet that sells hedgehogs. Let me hop on the bus. Where are you headed? Harry Planet. Who are you, and what are you doing here? You cannot enter your way to Harry. It's illegal to have hair on Harry Planet because there's so much hair here already. You need to get out of here. Since I'm not allowed on Harry Planet with all my hair, I'll go to a barber. I know, Daisy at Daisy Dudes. Hey girl, what's up, Lola Pizza? Want a haircut? I have to go to this strange planet that doesn't allow you to have hair, so you have to shave all my hair. I will make you look like you never even had hair, girly. I will also put a potion on you so that you don't grow your hair back. Girl, you're beautiful. Whoa, you look amazing. I'm sorry we ever judged you. You look pretty, yeah. You look like, you look extraordinary. Where are you headed? Harry Planet. Oh, that's weird. I had a pig go to Harry Planet just a few minutes ago. That pig, that was me. I just got a haircut. Hi, this is my first time here. I would like a hedgehog. Whoa, you're so beautiful. Come inside. Hello, welcome. We've never had an electric pig here in here before. I've heard they're too hairy. Yeah, whatever. I just want a hedgehog. Okay, well the hedgehog talent show is right this way. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Welcome to the hedgehog talent show. Each hedgehog will perform a special act to see which one you like best. Take it away, hedgehogs. Hi, I'm Joker, and my talent is telling jokes. Here's one now. Why did the music teacher need a letter? Huh? Huh? To reach the high notes! I'm Sainik, and my talent is beatboxing. <laughs> Flash and I can say hello in five different languages. Eh, xin chào, xin hoa di, bonjour, hola. I'm super impressed by all y'all, but I think Flash was the best. I'm so glad you chose Flash. No one has chosen him before. No one wants a hedgehog that can only say hello in five languages. You can have him for free because he's been here for 85 years. Yeah, I'm so happy. Bye. I found the greatest hedgehog. He's so talented and makes me joyful. Let's have a talent show for the whole planet. Yay, the end. The end. You're watching the Story Wranglers Music Network. Muffins are healthy, cupcakes are sweet. People like us because we drop the beat. You might think we're the same, but it's quite clear that we're more different than we appear. We've got the same shape, we've got the same hair. You can hold each of us in your hand. We've got the same wrapper and the puffed out top, but that's where the resemblance stops. Stop. Cupcakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muffins. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, let's talk flavors. Cupcakes have so much to savor. Vanilla, chocolate, red velvet. Tastes so good, you should wear a helmet. Carrot cake is not exactly evil, but it's a riddle of the cupcake be Beatles. There's also a lot of muffin taste. Lemon pocket seed will never go to waste. Banana is yellow, it tastes so good. You need chocolate with chip every day if you do it. There's strawberry, you can wear it too, but the best one of all is blue. from Paris to fight the American revolutionaries. In Utah now, that's where we cluck, and it would be imperfect if it wasn't for these ups. We have to wear sweaters, because we're loaded to our feathers. And the ducks make fun of us. We are the ducks from the Great Salt Lake, and this is some history we're going to make. We, we hate your sweaters, you French fry cookers, cookers. We are salty ducks, and, and we're, we're the best duckers. Best duckers. Don't us chickens, you yuckers. What, what kind of chicken is allergic to its feathers? Ducks can stick out in all kinds of weather, but the chickens have to stay home and wear sweaters. Those ducks are the worst. They're so salty, it seems like they die of thirst. Ducks so salty like the sea. Against them, a war we decree. We'll use our baguettes like clubs to beat them. And after we're done, we'll spread butter on you. Know. The ducks don't get cold, and we barely feel. I bet your stomach's sore is because you're attacked. So just go up and lose. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> you don't know never. You can't be 
to get a pet then this product is for you this cute elephant could be your pet in just two minutes and for just twelve dollars you can play with it do whatever you want with it hug it just buy it right now in buyanelephant.com go now well hello are you bored at home this pillow is so warm and cool it will cure your boredom a scientist put a drop of something and then he gave it to a person and it cured their boredom and it was so warm get your pillow at pillow.com hi welcome to the tricky troll trolley come down to buy a few of your own sheets of tricky troll puns these puns will make you laugh and they'll help you keep from being quarantine in quarantine come down to the tricky troll trolley for your own tricky troll pun sheet thank you are you tired of having to fold your t-shirt the same old way? And sometimes they don't even come out the same size. Well now, you can buy the Fold-O-Meter 3000. This Fold-O-Meter 3000 can be used in any size t-shirt. You just place the t-shirt in the center of the Fold-O-Meter 2000. You fold the step one tab, the step two tab, the step three tab, then you fold down step four tab and your t-shirt is completely folded. Just $7.99. Fold your t-shirt a whole new way. Buy one today. And by using the promo code Story Wranglers, you can double that offer. So get on your computer and buy one now. This may look like a regular remote, but actually, it takes you back in time. Depending on what number you choose, you can go from 2020 all the way to 1980. Awesome, right? Just call 1-800-BACK-IN-TIME. This story was written by the Purple Banana Snow Chips, and it is called Napkin the Magnificent. Hi, I'm Nakin the Magnificent, and I live in Weird Apocalypse, where every day is the apocalypse. We're a paper napkins. And we're jealous of Nakin the Magnificent because he's a sturdy cloth napkin, and we're a dirty paper napkin. Every time I get used, I get thrown in the smelly, dirty trash. Ugh. I know a way to make him not so special. We can cut a piece of his cloth, and we can be special too. I'm angry, and I'm a waiter at this fancy restaurant. I'll protect you, Napkin the Magnificent. Thank you for being my human shield and protecting me from the paper napkins. Napkin the Magnificent, we will take you down with our magical ladle. Get him! Oh no, the paper napkins have penetrated my human shield. Not today. This won't be the last time you see us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I 
I'm still the number one napkin, but no one must know my weakness, humans. <laughs> <laughs> This story was written by the Incredible Magic Moon Squad and it is called The Wizard and the Baby Bigfoot. Look at that cute little baby Bigfoot. I am not a two and I want to be big. Oh, you are so cute. I'm going to keep you a baby forever. Ow, ow. Oh, baby, 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 baby. I have now made the forest enchanted so you can stay there forever. Oh no, where did you? Mommy, help! But I can't get to your special Bigfoot. To do our special Bigfoot call to my friends to help. I don't know why. Mahahaha, you can't help him if you get together and do the special Bigfoot call. The spell will be broken, so I have separated you from each other. One day This baby's trying is so annoying. Okay, I'll break the spell. Enchanted, enchanted forest, break the spell for now on forever. Wait! We won't be able to. Ten more years later. Mom! Oh, you're so grown up. I can't. I can't believe I missed one year. It's okay. Hey, I'm the footprints now. What? Where are they? You can't see them. You can't see them. Wait, where are they? Where do you supposed to have them? And now, over from our pets. Hi guys, this is my dog. His name is Coco. He's really nice and he loves treats. Uh, he is a very nice dog. He does no tricks. It's just he doesn't really like to do them. And now he's eating. <laughs> this is my dog, Chewy. He's going to show you tricks. <laughs> Hi, this is my dog, Penny, but we like to call her Pen Pen. Her real name is Pennywise, but we like to call her Penny, so she has a lot of nicknames. Her favorite thing to do is hide under the couch, and she's about 18 months year old. She likes to get chin rubs. She likes to be on people's chin, and the chin rub is like this. No, I don't want you to kiss me. You can put your finger under her chin and rub it, and she'll like relax. She loves head rubs. And then she likes to eat lettuce, and she'll just eat that. Drop it. Stop. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. This is my pet. Her name is Daisy. And, um, well, she's very sassy. And she is a duck. We rescued her. Um, her mom left her in our yard. And she can almost fly, we think. So, I don't know what's gonna happen. She might fly away. This story was written by the Paparazzi Penguin Scribes. And it's called Cats vs. Dogs, The Crown Con Un Drum. Oh, I wish I had the crown. Well, we have to go get the crown. I can try one of my curious spells. Ho, ho, ho. Don't just try for one of the curious spells. Try for an all-out evil spell. Ha, ha, ha.
We're already playing our evil stuff. They don't work on them. If we want the crown, one of us has to go get it. I will, because I got the best magic wand and look so good in my future. The crown rightfully belongs to us cats anyways. Be careful. Take what's yours, but don't be violent. Okay, bye! I will be worthy, responsible, and confident. Oh, you're leaving? Cool. I hope she'll be okay. Don't worry, I'm her pet plant. I know her better than anybody. Prince Andrew, Prince Andrew, somebody robbed my bakery. I will send my guards to see about that. Thank you, thank you. You are so respectable. Prince Andrew, I'm out of money and I have nothing to eat. I can lend you some for my royal bank. That's extraordinarily nice. Sure, as long as you're not a pixie cat. Those things are evil. I'm here to take the pixie cat's crown back. <sighs> you mean this one? That's mine. That's the one that you stole from the pixie cat. The only thing I stole it from was a fuzzy hairball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? That's my brother's crown. No, that's mine. He stole it. It doesn't belong to that drooling, floppy-eared doll. Fine, then. The only way we can settle this is a game of dodgeball. The winner gets the throne and the crown and rules over all animals. The loser loses the crown and gets banned from the whole entire animal kingdom. I accept. I can beat this drooling maniac. Little does this carry cat they know. But I'm the best at dodgeball. Little does this sloppy furball know that I can go super fast, and with my Gucci clothes and evil magic, I can go even faster. This is the ref who will be judging this dodgeball game. All right, y'all know the rules already. I have to blow my whistle. Y'all can start. Well, based on the rules of dodgeball, Prince Andrew's the winner. Penny the Cat is banished. Andrew, you could maybe share the crown with Penny. She doesn't seem like a bad ruler at all. She has great magic skills. She could teach all the magical animals magic. It would be quite nice to have her share the crown. Whatever. Here. Welcome to the Rolling family. Whoa! Wait, is this a prince? It's real. You deserve it. You can be in charge of all of the magical creatures. Awesome. Bye! Oh my goodness, you're finally back. Did my little sour sapling win? Sort of. He's secretly the best at dodgeball. But now I get to rule the magical creatures. Gucci, Gucci, perfect. Now the world is peaceful, though some cats still hate dogs. The end. 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 <laughs> this story was written by the Incredible Magic Moon Squad, and it's called the Incredible Ice Cream Friendship. Welcome, Bob, to my electronic up and at life is land. Do you want to do something evil? You are so playful and rabbit. Away from me. <laughs> I want the mad scientist to be good. But how? I also like ice cream and want the whole world to be an ice cream cone. Now go distract. Bye bye, King and Playing Around. So I can get back to my evil plan. <laughs> oh no, I gotta go warn the queen. The mad scientist and be the bad scientist wants to be the new queen. Okay, I'll tell my royal security guards to go to the mad scientist lab and disrespect him by telling him that his inventions are not good. Anything you do will never work. And your land stinks too. You will never be a good scientist. And you will never make good inventions too. Tell the queen that she'll never be a good queen. You 
Will you leave it now? I am trying to take over the world. I'm doing this because you don't appreciate my inventions. If you have people respecting you, you could always talk to a friend like me. Okay. Very good. I'm doing world into an ice cream cone. Oh wow, the whole world is an ice cream cone. Mmm, this is good. Mm. I love ice cream. <laughs> it's so delicious. I love a strawberry and have a chocolate ice cream. It's so cold. I love strawberry and chocolate ice cream. It's so cold. Thank you, God Scientist. I'm sorry for never appreciating your invention and having my royal security guards <coughs> disrespect you. Wow, you mean blood. This story is written by the Purple Banana Snow Chips and it's called The Security Dog. Hi, I'm George the dog, and I live here at that one big mall in Cedar Park, Texas. I'm here at the pet adoption store with my new friends. Hey, why don't you go chew on that guy's foot over there? <laughs> How about you go chase those people over there? <laughs> go steal a hot dog. Bring us one too. These dogs always try to get me to do terrible things. I want to get adopted because I miss my old family. I sprinted away one day and ended up in the mall. Best George, go get sick. George is the best dog ever. Where did George go? Oh no, come back, George. So that's how I ended up in this mall. I try to leave, but the security guards won't let me. What is that dog doing here in the mall? I'm allergic. We're putting him in a kennel to try to escape the mall. Well, he isn't bothering anyone, so let's let him stay. We secretly love him. Achoo! Yes, because he's such a fine dog. I wish I could make new friends and be less aggressive than I used to be. Wait, who is that? Is that Ivan? Hi, George. It's me, Ivan, your old best friend. What are you doing here? I was just shopping for some clothes. I haven't seen you since obedience school. I have been hanging out with a tough crowd. You should be less mean if you want a family. You really need to behave. You're right. Hey, security guards, check out this cool trick. Maybe he wasn't as bad as we thought. I think he'll be a great security guard one day if we train him. He seems as tough. Let's take him home with us. I'm so excited. I finally found a new family, and I found a new job. The end. More stories coming your way after the break. In COVID-19, do you ever, like, have a problem with germs? Well, I know a way to fix that. Just rub on some of this and germs. Bounce right off. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Just proofreading a little book I wrote. Have you ever found yourself in this situation? You just wrote a nice book and then, oh no, it's falling apart. No, you just have pieces of paper. I have a fix. Perfect stapler. There. And there. Now your books will never fall apart again. Just get a stapler. It's only $20. Just call 1 800 569 329. That's 777 468 329. That is 1. Three nine six eight two four two one. Hello, I'm. My name is Dr. Chloe, and I like to tell you about immune C, two times more vitamin D, and the two gummies provide as much vitamin C as five medium tangerines. 
This is nine nine nine, and please buy it for those who are poor during the coronavirus. This is gummies for children in need. So please buy this product. Adios. Are your feet getting dry just stressing about coronavirus and how you can't go to the store to buy moisturizer? Well, we have your solution. It's moisturizing and all natural. It's foot cream. You can buy four gallons of it for only $79.83 at Walmart or www.4gallonsoffootcreamwalmart.com. We're not liable for any rashes, injuries, or outbreaks that occur. Foot cream will make your feet clean. This story was written by the incredible Magic Moon Squad, and it's called 85 Heads and 85 Friends. Egg, another day with a friend here in the haunted ocean volcano. <sighs> My name is Tim, and I'm a 85-headed sea monster. I will sink the ship of humans that are trying to make sea monsters stink. But first, I need to find some friends to help me. Hey monster, right here, but you can't sink our boat! You'll never stop our creepy plans from making all the sea monsters extinct! We have maps that tell us where they are. You have 85 heads, which is too many, even for a sea monster. You're right, I'll never have any friends, but one day I will have friends, and then I'll be able to sing your boat. I'm gonna go find some friends. Hey, come over here. Are you okay? Humans who hunt for us around here. And that's why we're hiding out of sight in the city of Atlantis. Jess, I'm okay. This human said that I have too many heads for a sea monster, and that made me feel sad and mad. It's okay, we all have problems like that sometimes. Do you want to be our friend? Huh? Yeah, thank you. I need help sinking the human's ship so they can't attack us anymore. Yes, we'll help you! And then after we sink the ship, we can rescue all of the sea monsters that fell into their trap. That sounds like a great idea! We can ask the sea monsters to be free to be our friends too! Help us! The humans trapped us. We did it! We did it. Thank you for saving us! We should have a parry because we save it our friends. And we don't, don't have to have hide from humans, humans anymore. anymore! Thank you all for being kind-hearted and helping me realize that being different is also beautiful as being normal. The end! This story was written by the paparazzi penguin scribe and it's called Computer Code with Cyber Attack. I call order to this meeting of city council. There was a virus taking over HyperZoom Hyper Zoom meetings. We have to stop it before it gets to the mayor's computer. John, you're still on mute. Apparently, this virus has been using HyperZoom to take over people's home computers. Guys, this virus is dangerous. At City Council, we must keep people safe. Agreed. If the virus takes over your computer, your face looks strange and you start talking like a robot. We should hire someone to stop this virus. There's this really good hacker I know, but he's not a criminal. It doesn't matter now. I'll call him. It's hacking into people's neural links, making the security box go haywire. What do you know about this mysterious virus? The mainframe has an objective in mind. What are you talking about? The city's doing everything you don't want it to. But... I know exactly what you're talking about, but can you explain for the other people? Um, I think Councilwoman Sophia has been attacked by the virus. She looks different. She doesn't look fine. Oh no, it's got the mayor. I'm out.
It's got Clay Councilwoman. This is getting out of control. Hacker, you have to stop this virus. I'm doing it. I just need to make a password. It's got Councilwoman here too. Oh no, it's got both of them at the same time. Wahaha! Ha, ha. Now I can tie up the mare, and when I'm done, I can get a ransom for a bunch of cash. I didn't hear what you just said. I was too busy making an antivirus. Everyone put yourselves on mute so I can give you the antivirus. Yes, I am fine. Oh man, thanks, John. We would have been stuck like robots. Hacker, you're in big trouble. Hacker, you must leave the city and live on an island where you can't hack anyone ever again. No! The good news is, I finally learned how to take myself off mute. The end. Thanks for watching the Cam Story Wrangler Show. See you next summer.